we don't need to sum that we don't need to sum that but we do need to sum these numbers so we're gonna have 10,500 plus 80,000 minus 3562.5 plus 6283.2 plus 49505.33 get that big number 142726.03 add these ones here six one two six point seven five plus thirty two minus six two four point seven five plus six nine four nine point two two plus one two five six six point four zero five seven zero one seven point Six, two. Now, to get the actual centroids, we're going to underline there. We're going to take we're going to take this number and divide it by that number. Okay? If you look, you have AX divided by A then you will be left with x. The a cancels that a and you're left with the x component. So, I'm gonna say one, four, two, seven, two, six, point zero, three, divided by two, eight, three, five, point four we get 50.334 rounding it up so that means that our centroid on the x-axis is located the distance of 50.34 from the datum and then we're going to do the same for this side we're going to say 57017 0.62 divided by 2835.4. You get 20.1. There it is. 20.11. Alright, now that concludes our session. We have found the centroid. It's located at 50.3. So it's somewhere there, 20, uh, 20 there, 30 there, it's somewhere there. And then on the Y, from here, it's 20 and 1. So it's somewhere there. So the centroid, final centroid is somewhere in there. Well, I hope you have learned something today. And that going forward, you will excel in this question.